I love how Dane, right, here's the house, right? Just the driveway coming up, right? So this lot in front has a house and guest house rights. So I assume the, there's some, a lot of easements on this part. So the main house will probably be here and the guest house will probably be here. It'll be pretty small. But I wanted to show you the stakes. So see that orange spot right there? So that's one of the property boundaries. And it goes over to the other side of these Eureka Palms, which I'll point out later. But I'm gonna walk you through the property and then I'll walk you end over there where the other staking is. So this is that sloping grass area that we talked about, right? So all of this is part of this property, right? So you've got these, pa a panic hedge on this side, kind of has your property boundary, but you can see it's a cute house. You've got kind of a wrap around lanai. It's pretty flowers hanging there. Right, you come up and you've got a great carport, lots of storage. All right, so I'm going to show you this part in the shed, the shed with the bathroom. Um, let me just point out this is the outdoor shower. I'm going to go in there in a minute, but I wanted to show you this planting area. Kind of like this back patio they have. It's really nice. You can sit back here. A lot of privacy. I want to show you the staking here. Do you see that orange stake? Right there. That's the property boundary. Got a lot of fishing sea floats. There's the house from here. Okay. Boundary line on this oh, this corner. It's the end of this corrugated fence. So this is on the county tax records. It's a shed with a bathroom. So it looks just like the photos. So if you wanted to go with the furniture package, the furniture seat you're seeing in here is included. It's $6,000 for everything, if that's what you want. They don't want to do sell some pieces and then some not some pieces. Okay. It's really cute space. You could fit a bed in here if you wanted to. Okay. So I'm going to show you the property boundary over here and then we'll for the shower, I should say. There's the shower, and the boundary line basically goes through this tree and along these tea leaves, right? And at the end of these tea leaves right here, that's when it jogs over. Actually, let me show you that now. Right there, you see that orange paint? That's where it jogs over this way. This is where the cesspool is. But then, then we're looking at that hedge as the property line. And it goes down to the Eureka Palms where we started. Okay. Let's look at the house. 
Um, one of the things that I think is a great, I mean, there's a lot to like about it, but there's a lot of storage, which most Hawaiian plantation homes have little to no storage. And there's a couple ways to enter, but this is all the extra storage I'm talking about, right? So you can go in this way, or you could walk down the lanai and kind of go in that front door. We're going to go in, in this one. We're gonna walk in here. And this is this is a part of the house that could be separated. If you see these accordion doors, they can be closed. And this could be, you know, they can have privacy here. So on this side, we've got a nice bedroom, closet ceiling and you have a bathroom over here with some extra storage you've got a sink some cabinets hot water heater laundry sink the shower you can get into through that door as well this is the shower you can get into from either side and then you have the tub just nice all right then the you can, right these are open right now right but you can close those and then you'd walk in from this way you'd walk into the kitchen which is here Otherwise, you'd walk in probably through that door. But this kitchen has a lot of storage space. Great high vaulted ceilings. Well, I guess we'll look at this part first. Here we have the bathroom, right? We're gonna have the shower. Some skylights. And there's high ceilings in this part too, right here. Right? So this would be the second bedroom in here. Nice vaulted ceilings again. Some built-in bookshelves. Move our windows. Nice. Your closet. Really high ceilings in there. And then this would probably be the current master bedroom at least. A right, much larger room. here. So this is the end of kind of that wrap around lanai. You can sit here. It's kind of a hazy day but you have little glimpses of blue here. You've got a mountain range there. So some pretty views. The property boundary on this side is about right there. So this is really like another, like your dining room, right? It's basically another room in the house. It's just an outdoor room. All right, so we can come back in here. Oops, sorry about that. I'm gonna come in through that door so this is the living room you've got a high vaulted ceiling right kind of comes up to a pitch here and then goes back down 
but it's a really nice living room. Beautiful wood floors. They look like the original Hawaiian plantation floors, which have held up really well. But it's a nice room. show you the view one more time. Alright, aloha.